Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. Working effectively on your desktop can be very handy if you learn some hotkeys, some short keys on your desktop just like Alt F2 or Super Key and R to open up the run menu which allows you to enter just an application just like Chrome. I just typed in Chrome and it will then autocomplete my word to Chromium browser and I can just press enter and this browser then will be started. There are some other applications that extend this functionality by far and other features as well just like um, the application Kupfer that I also showed you in one of my screencasts or one of my early screencasts I guess uh, but the, the main functionality d does not change uh, so much in those applications. So those are application launchers basically for the desktop. But what if you now have learned and mastered graphical applications, graphical user interfaces? You might want to get to know CLI, command line interfaces and yeah, basically command line applications. And yeah, to do this there are some very special tricks that allow you also to work very efficiently on your command line. And I want to show you those commands, those tricks here in this screencast. Especially those tricks that I've learned and that I am using because there are hundreds and thousands of commands that you might uh, want to learn and that, that are very useful. Uh, but you have to read, of course, the man pages and a lot of books then to learn all of them. But I on, well, only want to show you those ones I use and what I find really, really yeah, useful. Uh, and the first command, the first hotkey that I find very, very useful under Lubuntu, under Ubuntu as well, is the hotkey control Alt T to open up your terminal. In this case, Alex terminal under Ubuntu it would be GNOME terminal. So the first thing that you might run into is just typing in very very long commands or just copying very very long commands that you want to use and sometimes it's very useful that uh, if you have a command like this and you want to save this command or you want to make a bash script out of this command then it's very very useful to save this command in a text file. So the inefficient way to do this would be just mark the whole text here, go to edit, copy, go to the menu, go to accessories, open up leafpad and then hit Control v to insert it here. There's a very very long way to do this and it's not very efficient I think. There's a more efficient way if you want to use only the terminal involving only the terminal by just using a key combination which is called control X control E and this will bring you and this will bring in this case this command automatically into a new file you can see the file name here temp bash minus FC minus some stupid <laughs> numbers here and yeah, you can just then edit this command here, save it somewhere else and this is basically this uh, little trick that allows you just copy and insert any command into a text file. As you might notice here, for some of you that already worked with the terminal, I'm using the VI editor. Normally, if you would do this under Lubuntu, on the default installation, you will get the GNU Nano Editor. The GNU Nano Editor is yeah, ma more likely uh, comparable to uh, yeah, older MS-DOS based editors. You work there with uh, control keys and control key combinations. So if you don't like uh, the, the VI Editor, you can of course use the Nano Editor, the default editor in Lubuntu under the terminal. But if you like the VI editor and want to learn the VI editor, what you can do for this little shortcut trick that I showed you, Control X and Control E, is to change a variable that allows you to set the default editor to VI. And I want to show you how to do this uh, in your Lubuntu installation. 
So first of all, there are two different ways to do this. Uh, just like in every configuration file, you have a local configuration file, which is only, which does only apply to your user, and you have also a global configuration file, which applies to every user logged in into your system. So I want to change this only for my user because I know that there are some other users that you use my PC that prefer the nano editor. So what I will do now is just open up VI of course with the hidden file called .bashrc and the .bash file or the dot in front of the file name tells us that's a hidden file in our home directory. And in this file I will scroll down and you can see that I already did um, set VI as the default. I added, uh, there are some other lines here with, with explanations and comments of course, but I added this line here basically. So export editor VI. Editor in big letters, this is very important, and then equals VI. Of course if you have some other editors, for example if you like to open it up in a leaf pad, you can just change uh, this editor to leaf pad. And if I'm using now again this uh, control X, control E, oh, <laughs> in this case, of course, it will open up in VI because I forgot to uh, reread this bash RC. So, what you can do to reread the bash RC is just first of all close the terminal and then just open it up again, it will re automatically reread the bash rc, but what you can do also is just using the simple command source and then the file name in this case bash rc and it will then reread the configuration file and if I'm now using for example this command here and control x, control e again, it will open up this text in my uh, um, editor leafpad in this case. Very easy, very handy I guess. So the next thing that might be very very useful and handy is if you remember some parts of a command that you entered one week ago, for example, but you don't remember the whole part, the whole command in itself, just like this long command, there are even longer commands, and you know that in this command there was a uh, word that I used called which, or a command that I used called which. But I'm not sure how this began or how it ends, basically. The whole command is not very clear. What you can use is the key combination control R to make a reverse in history search, basically. So what you can type in now is basically a word and it will search then the bash history for command containing this word. For example, which. And as you can see here, it's found the last time I used the word which in a command, in this uh, command here, and if I press enter now, we will go to the normal uh, command mode and it will just simply execute this command. But what if I have uh, entered several which commands and the first search result it shows me is not the one that I'm looking for? What you can do uh, then is, of course, let me do this again, is press Control and R again and it will go to the next um, thing backwards, basically in history, the next command it found. So in this case, this one. And yeah, what I want to do now, what I want to show you now in this command is also a very nice and handy trick. As you can see here, I've typed in uh, basically the same command that I have uh, above here but without the parameters of the XR commands. So sometimes you might remember some of those commands but not the parameters of those uh, commands that you are using. So wouldn't it be nice not to yeah, just l use the control and R key combination to search for this but just simply autocomplete by searching the history for the last time you used an this command with uh, your parameter that you don't remember anymore. There is an option in Ubuntu and in Lubuntu to allow you this, but it's disabled by default, so you have to enable it first. So the next key combination that might be very handy to do this now is just type in Control Shift T, and this will open up basically in 
Alex terminal and also in the GNOME terminal a new tab with a new terminal. So what we now want to do is just go and edit a file and I will now edit this file globally and I also already did it. I will show you what to do. Uh, just open up it with your favorite editor sudo etc input rc input rc and of course I have to insert my credentials, my password here and another VI trick for those of you who uh, might want to use VI you can just forward slash and then just search a word just like for example page up and it will go bring you to the first appearance of this word and as you can see here there is a comment which tells us mappings for page up and page down t key to step to the beginning end of the history so this is exactly the function that I'm searching for which allows me to autocomplete my command line by using page up or page down to scroll through the history and through the history of parameters for my command. And what you need to do, normally those uh, are out commented so with this um, little sign here you need to delete this sign and then just save this file and you have to then re-log in because it's a global modification that you did and then it will work then you can just simply uh, by hitting uh, page up autocomplete this parameter here so a very very handy thing to do so this is basically everything as I showed you there are lots of different options and lot of lots of different key combinations and tips and tricks to work efficiently on your command line. There are lots more and especially useful commands uh, when you're working with a file manager, when you're working with media also under the command line and I think in the next video tutorial, in the next screencast I will show you how to work with media files under the command line and yeah this is basically everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.